Christian. And what are you doing so different from them, the world? Yeah, you speak the right lingo in the right setting, expressing you love me, God. But when the scenes change, your words rearrange, and you sound like them, the world. Every Sunday, you suit up in your super-duper Christian disguise, keeping your true identity a surprise. But the surprise is going to be on you when you get before me and I say, depart, for I never knew you. How long will you straddle the fence, playing a game of make-believe, deceiving your own self with twisted truth, which won't bring a reproof, but will produce a lukewarm Christian that will be reduced to vomit. There's a standard to be called a Christian, Christ-like, child of the Most High. You must deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me, imitate me. Those aren't words you just say. There's an action that is required. Deny yourself, pick up, follow, imitate are choices that you must make to stay claim to my name. No more games. It's time to step up or move out the way. This is the day to choose whom you will serve for real. Time is short and a separation will take place. And yes, my grace is made sufficient in your weakness, but no longer will I allow you to think that grace is my weakness. See, you played that game and sang that song for too long. Now I'm going to call you on all the vows that you made trying to get your own way. Now realize you've been snared by the words from your own lips. But you call yourself a Christian. But do you realize that death is a necessary requirement to be a part of my kingdom? For no flesh can glory in my presence. Therefore, you need to be a little more hesitant on how you come before me. Yes, I said, come boldly, in the th come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy. But how dare you come boldly in the stench of your sin without repenting. But asking for a move of my hand to meet all your needs. Yet, you won't concede to my word of will for your life. Well, Must I drop you like the priest of old that came into my presence room? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a good God, but I am just. And the Old Testament... It's not done away with. It is the foundation for the new. For there can be no new without the old. And just because the veil was torn doesn't mean the protocol is gone. You must still come before me correctly. Not perfect, but correctly. I'm not a mean God, but I do mean business. I never said Christianity would be easy, but it would be worth it. Now, do they know you're a Christian? Because Christianity isn't something you put on or pretend to be. It's your identity. You identify with who I am and what I've done, living a life of one with me, forsaking all others, laying down your life and picking up mine. And in time you change and begin to reflect me, begin to imitate me, reflecting my image, drawing people into the me and you, and you begin to witness of me by your lifestyle, which would speak louder than your words. So when you do speak, your words will have weight. Because the demonstration of my love, power, and authority will already be evident. The signs and the wonders that they, the world, need to believe that I am the one true God. So, do you still want to call yourself a Christian? Well, here's your mission if you choose to accept. You must daily die to self. That's right. Pick up your cross and follow me. Walk uprightly before me. For every seed must be reduced to death to produce life. And if you choose to live for me and carry my name, you can't possibly stay the same. That's right. Because my word, my love, and my presence will begin to rearrange your thoughts, your speech, your actions, your life. You will be that consecrated vessel that's set aside for my use, producing life-giving fruit that is pleasing to eat, for it will meet the needs of others. You must be a vessel that stands out and not blend in. You're a Christian. And I will not give you a mission that is impossible, because with me, all things are possible. I am your daily needs. I am your needful sustenance. You can't live or thrive without me. You may exist, but you won't be living. 
and everything alive in me must produce after me or be cut off. I am the vine, you are the branches. Now take your position and walk out my great commission if you call yourself a Christian.